I was wrong for the first time in my career. Uh, I've always said that anytime you play a team twice, it's a different game. And it wasn't. It was a great offensive game for both teams um, the second time around, the second round as we like to call it, and uh, give those guys credit. The, the plays we made at the end of the game at UNC, uh, they made the plays tonight. Uh, I thought the biggest play of the game probably was uh, when Williams uh, made that three. It kind of obviously gave them a little separation. Uh, great game. Uh, give those guys credit. Uh, I thought Luke May was really good tonight. He did a tremendous job. When you look at his numbers, 33 points and 17 rebounds. Uh, uh, very proud of my guys. I thought we fought all the way to the end. And like I told you, um, at, at UNC, we made those shots that they made at the end. And, and certainly, it would have been a different outcome. So I'll take questions at this time. Uh, Coach, your message to your uh, team after the game? Uh, my, my message to the team is that uh, we have become a very good basketball team. Uh, you don't accidentally, uh, you know, beat the likes of Arizona, Duke, and Carolina, and Clemson uh, the way they're playing this year. Uh, my message to those guys uh, moving forward is you have to now figure out now how not to beat yourself. Uh, our expectations uh, coming to the, the season uh, from everybody outside of our program were pretty much low, obviously being picked 12. Uh, now we put ourselves in a situation where we're playing, you know, against some of the top teams in the country and we're right there to win the games. Now I have to get these guys to change their expectations. Um, I don't want them to get to the point where they're satisfied with how many wins that we've won right now. And um, now we got to figure out when you look at us, we're scoring against everybody. Now we got to figure out now where do we go from here? Well, we did a couple of different things. We tried to trap a couple of ball screens. Uh, we did some things. Uh, it, it wasn't, uh, I would say, instead of saying they, let's say Luke May, he had a great second half and he played well. And we switched out a lot of different guys on him. You know, we, we got everything that we wanted out of it. When you look at our defense, uh, yesterday shot 56%. We shot 54 The telltale of our defense is we were able to turn them over 19 times and we had 12 steals. Uh, so we did enough to win the game. Uh, obviously, they made, as I thought, they made some, uh, as I looked at it, they made some shots at the end of the uh, game that certainly helped them win the game. They had eight turnovers in the second half, uh, but they scored on just about every other possession. Uh, you only had three defensive rebounds for a whole half. Um, how do you, you know, was that just they had a hot day or, you know, over the course of the season, you've done a great job of forcing turnovers, but teams are shooting almost 50% against you in ACC play. Um, is there a fix for defense, you know, once it comes to shooting time? Well, it's a, if you look at a, if you look at the stats, we, we've done a great job of running guys off the three-point line. Uh, most of the uh, baskets that people score against us are two-pointers, and last time I checked, threes count more than two. And so I'm happy with that part of it. Uh, we have to do a better job of just closing the games and finishing plays at the end. I'm, I'm very excited about our defense. My style, uh, I, I think people make a lot of mistakes when you look at percentages. Uh, if you go back and look at uh, our overall games, we typically get 10 more shots or more uh, than the other team because we turn you over. Uh, so the percentages are a little deceiving. Uh, I look more at how many steals, deflections, and forced turnovers do we have. You weren't happy with defense at Virginia Tech the other night, obviously. Did you see similar things today, a better play? Did you see some improvement there from what you yeah, saw? Yeah, I, I, thought I, I thought our guys, our guards did a tremendous job, man. I, I go back into it and tell you that Luke May had a great day. Um, and I thought, you know, we switched guys on him. Uh, he made shots inside and out. Uh, was very happy with our guard play. Our, guard, our guards, I thought, did a good job keeping guys in front. You look at the last time we played, I thought Theo Pinson had a really good night. I thought we contained him uh, for the most part. Uh, we went into the game knowing with uh, Carolina, you got to do three things. You got to uh, obviously keep him from getting offensive rebounds. We didn't do a great job. Transition, I thought we were okay, but the, the most important thing is we held him to six three-pointers made uh, against Duke. They just came off a game where they had 11. Coach, tell us about the red blazer. Where did you get it and what went into that? Well, I've worn, I, I've worn it. Uh, I, I wore it at the uh, UMKC game um, against, um, against UMKC when we played at Reynolds. And um, red blazer is great, man. I, I knew Roy was going to try to come in here with his uh, Carolina blue blazer on, so I was going not going to let him show me up. I'm a way better dresser than him.
You mentioned the uh, guard play. Um, one of the guards that was absent today was LeBar Vets Jr. Uh, any particular reason that he was absent from today's game? Yeah, just coach's decision. I didn't think that it was a game for him. Anything else for coach? Thanks, Go ahead, Sal. Uh, <laughs> I, I was just curious. You talk about changing the expectations. Uh, along the course of the season, how many times have you kind of had to reset? Like, was there a point early in the year, like, kind of like you got to get them to kind of just believe in your system first, and then you hit that milestone, and then you go to a next? I would say uh, every couple games with these guys, I mean, we're in uncharted waters when you compare to what has happened in the last couple years. Uh, obviously, this is a program that's over the long haul who's had a lot of success. Uh, but, you know, we talked about, you know, the last couple of years, obviously winning five conference games two years ago and four last year. And now we got to reset ourselves and move forward. Uh, uh, you know, obviously uh, I'm very disappointed about our loss, but it doesn't hurt us right now. It's what do we do moving forward is what's important to me. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.